everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this fall themed mini slimline card for you today and coordinating envelope using the beautiful Garden Harvest Florals from Honey Bee Stamps. Here you can see I've got all of the different images from that set uh, stamped out here and I'm going to color up all of these different florals with my Faber-Castell polychromos. Of course you can see I've stamped these out on craft and when, I've done, when I'm using craft I like to lay down a really really light pale color to start off so you can see I colored with that really light pale cream color and now I'm going to go over it the whole petal with my medium tone. Once I've got the medium tone down, I'll go in with the darker shades of my color scheme and lay in some shadow areas and details for the petals. And really what I use as a guide is the stamped lines on the image. So where the stamped image indicates that there would be shadows, that's where I start to lay down my darker color. And then just going in with the various other tones of my color scheme here, I'll start to layer and blend adding depth and detail to the petals and you can just see every once in a while I will go back in with a lighter tone and add in some lighter areas as well but I just love using these color pencils to create the colors on the different images for cards it does take some time um, and it takes a little bit of practice and I'm definitely not a professional at this by any means but I really really enjoy it and I really like the look of colored pencils so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at my process for coloring with my polychromos you can see that that um, flower is all colored up here I'm going to show you one other type of color scheme that I used here for these different images. This of course is the beautiful sunflower. Again you can see I laid down that really light cream color and then went in with the medium shade and now going in with some of the darker shadow tones for this orange and yellow color scheme. And I just wanted to use sort of like a little bit of jewel tones and really a nice fall color scheme on each one of these different images that I colored up here today. So big tip I would say for colored pencils is always make sure that your pencils are really really super sharp and use colors that you love and just have fun and enjoy and practice lots stamp out a bunch of different images on different types of cardstock and practice away and figure out how to blend your colors whatever it is that you have to work with and enjoy the process because it is really super fun it actually took me several hours to color all of these different images so I, I'm not gonna I didn't film all of that but what I did do was I left my stamps on my misty uh, door and I put the cardstock back into my misty and stamped again with the black VersaFine Claire ink just to really define the outline of these images and all of the different lines and I just really like that look and so now those are all finished I'm ready to take the um, garden harvest coordinating die set from honeybee and die cut out all of these different images and now I'll have all of those beautiful embellishments for my project here today so had so much fun with that part of the process for sure I'm also going to be using the sweet stacks mini slimline die set this is the largest die in that die set that has multiple dies uh, going smaller from this largest rectangle you can see here I'm going to die that die cut that out on some beautiful Gina K turquoise cardstock and I'm going to adhere that panel down to some white pearlescent cardstock now I did got the pearlescent cardstock there just to uh, reserve the inside of that cardstock for another project so as not to waste the middle of the cardstock. I've had a couple of comments lately where people have said, oh my gosh, you covered up that specialty paper. Yeah, it happens and I do have a ton of paper so it doesn't bother me too much, but I just wanted to show you how you can avoid that and it does help you um, save some of your cardstock for sure. Now I'm going to adhere that to a slimline card base that's craft and I've just uh, put some foam adhesive on the back of my card front here. I'm going to put that down onto my slimline card base and now I'm ready to add the details to the rest of my card. Now I've kind of placed out a design that I liked for my die cut elements here and I'm just going to take some press and seal and pick those up so that they're just sort of in the general area of where I would like them. I flip that over and put a little bit of repositionable adhesive on the back and I didn't 
I knew that I was going to move these around a little bit, so I'm not too worried about them not being in the exact spot because I wanted to use, um, I want to move them around and use some foam adhesive on some, but not on others so that I can get some layers. So I'm going to use a couple of different thicknesses of foam adhesive here. The pieces that I want to be the, t the highest or tallest or most dimensional, I'll use the thickest foam squares and then I'll use the thinner foam squares for those pieces and bits that I want in behind. And then I'll let the repositionable adhesive um, be the glue that holds down all of the other little pieces. And if anything else is not intact, I'll just take my Honey Bee precision glue and add a little dab of glue in behind and you can just see how I've added the vines and berries and twigs and acorns and stuff as little fillers around my beautiful florals and I've tried to spread out the colors so that the all the oranges and yellows aren't together and so on and so forth. Now where, wherever there's a little bit of a highlight on the coloring I'm just going to take my gel pen and here and there I'm going to add little dots of white gel pen to those areas so just not on every highlight but just on a few of the different little highlight areas this is that thinking of you big time beautiful sentiment set from honeybee i just love this set so much it's gorgeous now i have stamped out the hello with versamark ink that's just a watermark sticky ink i have use some gold embossing powder to heat emboss that off camera i've die cut that out with a coordinating die for that for that stamp set and now i'm adhering that down to my card with a little bit of foam adhesive again and i just love how this looks i think it's so beautiful um, really elegant and and lovely and i love the mini slimline size i think it's so fun I am going to be using some of the autumn afternoon gem stickers. I'm going to pick those up off of the packaging with my craft pick and place those down around the sentiment hello. I'm going to use five of those gem stickers and I love this color. It's kind of like a burnt orange. It looks so pretty with the colors that I've used in my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil crayons. In Canada, we call them pencil crayons. I think in the U.S. Um, they're commonly referred to as colored pencils, but anyways, that's kind of a funny little, I don't know, difference depending on where you live. <laughs> and here you can just see that I'm taking my fan brush and I'm going to add a few splatters with my gold color shine. This is just a gold mist that I have in my stash. You could use any type of medium that you could water down in your stash that's gold for this same type of effect. And I love how this looks. I think that's so pretty on this fall themed card. And I love how it just pops off that turquoise background. It's so pretty. Now I did also use a little bit of gold stickles. So here you can just see, this is the gold stickles I used. I dabbed that onto just a few little areas in the centers of the florals and so on, just to add that little bit of contrast and shine. This is the mini slimline envelope die set from Honeybee. This is brand new with the Autumn Splendor release. The, this is such a fun set. It has a rectangle for the base of the envelope and then there's these two different flap dies that um, fill in the back of your envelope and you can do the rounded corners or you can do the notched corners. So you can t uh, die cut out two different types of envelopes if you'd like. I went with the rounded corners, but the notch corners are also very, very nice. That's what, you, there you can just see that what the notched corners looks like. And so here's the flap that closes the envelope. And then these are the two flaps that you put on the rectangle to close in your envelope. So here you can just see, I'm gonna to start to put this together. So this is the closure, closure flap for the top of your envelope. And I've put some double-sided tape on the folded area there. And the, it's really cool because the die uh, not only die cuts out your paper, but it also scores it for you so you know exactly where to fold it. So there you can just see I've gone ahead and adhered that down. And now I'm going to put double-sided adhesive on all of the other scored flaps on these die cut pieces and get them ready to adhere on. Now for this one here, I'm just going to line it up line the fold, folded and scored edge with the edge of the envelope and get that adhered down. I'll do the same thing on both sides. And now I'm gonna put a strip of adhesive at the bottom 
of the envelope and on the one side only. Okay, so just on the outside of the one back backing flap. And here you can just see I'm going to fold in the right side first that has the adhesive on it. And that's going to stick that flap down at the bottom and close up the bottom of the envelope on the right side. And now to finish the envelope off, I'll close up that left side and it's all adhered and finished. So I love how this turned out. I think it's super fun. It coordinates nicely with my card. And I love having a die set that cuts out an envelope for this size of unique card. I love it so much. So this is how it all turned out. It's super pretty. Um, lots of subtle sparkle and shine and beautiful color for a really lovely mini slimline fall card. I hope you enjoyed this today friends. I have linked up to all of the products that I've used today in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an amazing day and I will see you next week. Bye bye.